Often we look at the symptoms of ADHD and based on that, we diagnose the ADHD. Personally, I found people with ADHD tend to struggle with similar thinking skills. And today I'm going to share with you five of those thinking skills so that way you can improve those thinking skills and that way even if you have ADHD, these things are no longer a challenge for you. Hey there, I'm Misty Rappaport and I help ADHD entrepreneurs optimize their brain so running their business is a whole lot easier. Now, first off, thinking is not one big thing. Thinking is made up of 28 thinking skills. Naturally, we will have stronger ones and weaker ones, but those weaker ones make it challenging for us to do what we want to do. People with ADHD tend to struggle with similar thinking skills and therefore they tend to struggle with similar things. Okay. So today I'm going to share with you five of those thinking skills and what you can do about them. So that way, those things are no longer a challenge for you. Okay. First off, I'm going to start off with time because everybody knows people with ADHD really, really struggle with time. Um, there's terms like time blindness and things like that. That makes it really challenging. Well, guess what? Understanding time is actually one of the 28 thinking skills. And because it is a skill, that means you can learn it even if you have ADHD, okay? That means you can learn it even if you have ADHD. It may take you slightly longer. You may need a slightly different way of being able to approach the situation, but you can learn it. Yes, you can. And I am saying that because I've seen it over and over again with clients, with family members, and I believe in you. And I know that you can as long as you put in the work. So what I'm gonna do is not to overwhelm you as we go through all these thinking skills, I'm going to share with you one tip on how to improve it. And then I'm also going to link below videos and where I go deeper. So if you know there's that thinking skill you want to go deeper on, you can watch that video. So for time, the first thing you want to do is hang up big calendars. Yes, get like big, huge calendars. Um, I'm buying them on Amazon. They're like these massive calendars and hang up, not one month, but see if you can hang up three four, five, or even six months. This will give your brain a much broader concept of time, of what's happening today, of what's happening tomorrow. And if you hang it up in a place where you see it often, it's going to constantly go into your brain. There you'll put down all your appointments, all your meetings, all the important things, and you'll know what is coming up, what deadlines are having, things like that. And like I said, I'm going to link below video where we go deeper on time. So that way you can really, really improve this thinking skill. Let's go on to the second thinking skill. The second thinking skill is clear perception. That's taking in the information in a clear and organized way. If you've got ADHD and get super overwhelmed when there is a ton of information, you walk into a messy room and instead of wanting to clean it, you go out and close the door. I feel you. Yes, I feel you. And that is actually coming from the thinking skill of clear perception, being able to take in the information in a clear and organized way. Because it's coming in in a really messy way. We want to help your brain be able to take it in in a clear and organized way. So what you do is when you walk into a situation where you're super overwhelmed, you go through the five senses and you just ask yourself, what do I see? And list all the things you see. What do I hear? And list all the things you hear, taste, smell, touch, things like that. Go through all of them and list them out. And by doing that, you're calming your brain down and helping your brain take it in in a clear and organized way. Once again, I'm going to link a video to that. Number three, comparisons. This is one that people with ADHD struggle with that really affects their decision-making. So if you struggle with decisions, this comes from comparisons. You want to make sure you are comparing on the same level. Often we say the attributes, we say the good things about one decision and we say the good things about the other decision or we say the bad things about one decision, the bad things about the other decision, but they're not on the same level. They're not both talking about price or they're not both talking about size or they're not both talking about color, things like that. And that is what's really making it challenging to make that decision. So to get better at this, before you have to make it, just practice improving this thinking skill by taking two random items in your house and comparing them on the same level. So literally write it out. Let's say you take um, a water bottle and you take a pen, and then you're going to say, what is the color of the water bottle? The color of the water bottle is clear. The color of the pen is black. What is the use of the color, the use, the water bottle is to drink from and the use of the pen is to write with. And you're going to go through each of them and that's comparing on the same level. Once again, we're going to link a video of that. Um, number four is holding two or more pieces of information in your brain at the same time. Um, this is a really big one. Um, and 
it's really frustrating. If not, because like you're constantly forgetting people think that you aren't listening to them and you really, really aren't. It's simply because um, you think you're going to forget it. This often is actually surprisingly the root cause of why um, people with ADHD struggle with interrupting because they're scared um, that they're going to forget it instead of being able to hold it in their brain. Um, and so what you can do is actually train your brain to remember more than one thing at once. So start off by giving yourself two things to do at a time and don't write it down. Just like give yourself two things to do and do it. So let's say sweep the floor and mop the floor or wash the dishes and fold the laundry or something like that. And then without writing it down, without forgetting about it, without like just like staying focused, it's going to be challenging in the beginning. Then you do those things. As soon as those two are done, then give yourself three things to do and then give yourself four things and build up to five, six or seven, five. Usually if you can remember five things at once, um, that is super like that's super convenient if some people could get up to seven seven at past seven it's like most people just that's like really really challenging but you could challenge yourself and see if you could actually get there or even like if you're going to the grocery store and you're just running in for three things like don't write it down remember the remember those three things hold those three things in your brain um and that will be working on this thinking skill and then Number five, working memory. Working memory is something that I've struggled with for such a long time. I've done so many professional exercises and so many things, and none of it worked for me until I've created my own exercises that worked really, really well. And for that, it's a much deeper video. I have to actually like show you the exercise. And so I'm going to link the video to that working exercise, to that working memory exercise, so that way you can do it. Try it. Do it for like 15 minutes every day for about two, three weeks, and you will already start seeing improvements. Okay. So block out your calendars 15 minutes every day and go check out that video so you can actually go improve that thinking skill. Great. Ready for a quick recap? Let's do this. Number one is understanding time. Number two is clear perception. Number three is comparisons. Number four is holding two or more pieces of information at once. And number five is working memory. I will link those videos below. Let me know if you have any other questions. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.